Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle feature value, compound interest. And also, request ko na rin na subscribe na rin kayo and click the bell notification para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos ng Math and Language. So, let's go to the lesson proper. So, ang formula ng feature value sa compound interest is we have two, but same lang naman sila. Depende rin sa textbook na gagamitin nyo. The first one is FV for feature value is equal to PV, present value, times the quantity 1 plus R over N, tapos yung exponent na N times T. Ang pangalawa naman is A, that's the final amount, is equal to P, the principal, times the quantity 1 plus R over N then times the exponent mo ay N times T. So ulitin ko lang, parehas lang sila. Depende lang yan sa textbook na gagamitin mo. Kung minsan FV or A ang gagamitin. So, dito sa video na to, ang gagamitin natin yung FV for future value and PV for present value. So, ito yung mga variables natin. FV is future value, PV is present value, and is the number of times compounded, R is rate, and T is per time. And P is principal or PB is present value. And also, ang FV natin, that is future value or A for final amount. They are the same lang naman din. Again, iba yun. Depende yan sa textbook na gagamitin nyo. So, paano naman natin malalaman yung number of times compounded for year para dun sa N? Pag annually, 1 yun. Pag semi-annually, 2. Quarterly will be 4. Monthly naman ay 12, weekly is 52, at pag daily, that will be 365. So let's start with the first example. Timmy deposited $5,000 into an account, paying 10% annual interest compounded monthly. How much money will be in the account after 2 years? Okay, so for this one, inahanap natin daw dito yung magiging pera niya after 2 years. So inahanap dito yung future value. At compounded monthly. Lagay muna natin yung formula. So we have FV, future value is equal to present value times the quantity 1 plus R over N. Tapos, ang exponent niya ay N times T. Substitute na natin. Future value is equal to 5,000. Kasi yun yung present value mo. Times mo sa quantity na 1 plus 0 0.10. Kasi 10%. At compounded, compounded monthly. So ibig sabihin nun, 12. Ang N mo ay 12. 0 0.10 over 12. Ngayon, ang exponent mo ay n times t, so that will be 2 times 12. Okay? So, ang years, 2 years kasi siya. So, time is 2 years at compounded monthly, that will be 12. So, let's simplify it. So, simplify natin yung 1 plus 0.10 over 12. That will be 1.0083. Repeating decimal. Next naman yung exponent. Yung 2 times 12, that will be 24. So, sa calculator natin, 1.0083. Repeating, to the 24th power. Ngayon, yung sagot niyan, that will be 1.22039. Multiply natin ng 5,000, and the final answer will be 6,101.95. Niround ko na siya ng 2 decimal places. Again, if you're going to answer this sa calculator niyo, if you're going to type it, tapat derecho. So, 0 0.10 over 12, yung sagot yan, plus 1 ng 1, tapos, exponent mo sa 24, then that's the time na multiply mo siya ng 5,000. So, yung dineposit daw ni Timmy na $5,000 sa account niya, paying 10% annual interest, compounded daw siya monthly. Magkano daw yung magiging pera niya after 2 years? So, magiging 6,101.95 siya. Alright, so example number 2 tayo. Cosmo deposited $12,000 into an account, paying 1% annual interest compounded daily. How much money will be in the account after 2 years and 6 months? So, just a reminder that 2 years and 6 months, a time, that will be 2.5 years. Okay, so take note of that. Kasi, there are 12 months in a year, di ba? At ang 6 months ay kalahati noon. Kalahati ng taon. So, that will be 0.5. So, 2 years and 6 months, that will be 2.5 years. So, let's start. Lagi natin yung formula ulit. So, future value is equal to present value times the quantity 1 plus R over N. 
Tapos yung exponent niya, that will be n times t. I-substitute na natin. So, that will be, yung nasa loob ng parentheses, that will be 1 plus 0 0.01 over 365. Bakit 365? Kasi compounded daily. Bakit 0 0.01? Kasi 1%. Ngayon, ang n times t natin, that will be 365 times mo ng 2.5 years. Okay? So, simplify natin yung nasa loob ng parentheses, that will be 0.01 over 365, yung sagot niya, plus mo ng 1, that will be 1.0000273977. Ngayon, yung sa exponent natin, 365 times 1 ng 2.5, that will be 912.5. Ngayon, yung 1.00 something, yung sa loob ng parentheses, ang exponent niya to the 912.5 power. Yung sagot, tapos yung sagot niya, mumultiply natin ng 12,000. At ang final answer natin ay 12,303.78. So, yung nag-deposit daw si Cosmo ng 12,000, na paying 1% annual interest compounded daily, magkano daw yung magiging pera niya after 2 years and 6 months. So, that will be 12,303.78. Okay, so example number 3 tayo. Wanda deposited $5,000 into an account paying 5% annual interest compounded semi-annually. How much money will be in the account after 10 years? So, lagi natin yung formula ulit. That will be FB is equal to PB times mana 1 plus R over N at exponent mo NP. Next one is substitute na natin. Future value is equal to 5,000 times mo sa quantity ng 1 plus 0 0.05 over 2. Exponent mo I2 times 10. Next one. Simplify natin yung sa loob ng parentheses. That will be 0 0.05 over 2. Plus mo ng 1, that will be 1.025. At ang exponent mo na ay 20. So you do the parentheses and exponent first. At i-multiply natin ng 5,000 and the answer will be 8,193.08. Okay, so mini quiz tayo. Teddy deposited $10,000 into an account paying 5% annual interest compounded annually. How much money will be in the account daw after 3 years? Nag-deposit daw si Teddy ng 10,000 na paying 5% annual interest, compounded annually. So, magkano daw yung pera niya after 3 years? I'll give you 5 seconds. You may want to pause the video naman, and I will reveal the answer. Time's up, and the answer is 11,576 dollars and 25 centavos. So, paano nangyari yun? So, let's see paano natin nagawa. Lagi ko yung formula. Next one, substitute it. That will be 10,000 times the quantity 1 plus 0.05 over 1. Bakit over 1? Kasi compounded annually. Ang exponent mo ay 1 times 3. Kasi 3 years. At compounded annually ulit. So, simplify natin. 0.05 over 1 plus 1 ng 1 is 1 1.05. At ang exponent natin ay 3. So, ilagay mo siya sa calcu natin. 1.05 cube. Tapos, times mo ng 10,000. At ang sagot ay 11,576.25. And that's the end of the lesson about compound interest future value. Ang next lesson naman natin will be about finding the present value in compound interest. So that will be present value is equal to the quantity future value in numerator. Denominator will be the quantity 1 plus R over N at exponent NT. If you would like to comment or suggest another math language video, please comment down below. Kung may assignment kayo, comment down below again. This is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. And also click the bell notification. Thank you. Bye-bye.